All right, solve the formula for the indicated letter. Assume that all letters are re represent non-negative numbers. We have S equals some quadratic equation in terms of C. Notice you have the C squared and the C, so we can rewrite it as G C squared over 8 plus V sub 0 C minus S equals 0. Multiply both sides by 8 just to get rid of fractions. S equals 0. Uh, now we know A, B, and C, so we can do the quadratic formula. So we, remember, this is, this is A right here. That would be G. Well, let's write that out. A equals to G. B equals to 8 V sub 0. And C equals to negative 8 S. So now we can just plug into the quadratic formula. C equals to negative 8 V sub 0 plus or minus square root 64 V sub 0 squared. Notice that just the V is squared. I already squared the 8. So minus 4 times G times C. That's negative 8 S. So let's make that positive. Divided by 2G because A is G. Under the radical, we want to factor that. So we're going to get negative 8 V sub 0 plus or minus. What's the greatest common factor? 32. Because 8 times 4 is 32. So we're going to get 2 V sub 0 squared plus GS divided by 2G. Now notice something about that 32 is... 32 is 16 times 2. And 16 is a perfect square. So, what's the square root of 16? 4. So, negative 8, V sub 0, plus or minus 4. Let's distribute the 2 back in, that remaining 2. 4, V sub 0, squared, plus 2, GS, <clears throat> divided by 2, G. And now... If we just cancel these by dividing all these by 2, we get a 4 here, a 2 here, and that 2 is just gone. So you just have a G in the denominator. So notice that A and C both have a G in the denominator. However, A has the negative 4 phi sub 0 plus or minus 2, and then the square root is 4 phi sub 0 squared plus 2GS divided by G. So A is the answer. And that's it.